Hey guys, it's Jen and welcome back to this week's edition of New Makeup Sunday. So this week I have some really fun stuff to share with you including a Sephora haul with the new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and also the Lunar Beauty blush palette. I have a Shein haul with some clothing items as well as some dupe palettes that are only $6 and some liquid blushes that are really really pretty. I also have the new lip glosses from Maybelline. Also just quickly I wanted to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my Swatch channel. I'm so excited that I finally crossed over a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited that you guys love the idea as well if you're not familiar with it it's called Jen Phelps swatches I'll leave it linked down below and basically I'm just gonna be swatching my entire eyeshadow palette collection I also plan to do blushes and lipsticks and that way you guys can kind of use it as a reference so it's not as hard to go back and try to find swatches of products in my regular videos but if you're wondering where I've been the past week because I haven't been doing swatch videos that's because I got a really huge bruise on my arm it's actually looking a lot better than it was but my son and I kind of collided he was coming around a corner and I was coming around a corner and basically long story short he ran into me I fell and hit my arm pretty hard and it was all like swollen up and this is my swatching arm unfortunately it just looked really gnarly and it hurt a lot so I didn't want to be putting swatches on it so that's where I've been as far as the swatch channel but hopefully in the next couple days I can definitely start those videos back up again so anyway let's go ahead and jump into the video and don't forget to stay tuned to the end and I'll let you know how some of the products worked out this week. Hey guys, it's Monday. I just got my order from She Glam and this is a brand that I originally saw on Instagram. I thought their palettes looked so beautiful and when I followed the link it actually took me to the Shein website which if you're not familiar they're mainly like a clothing website like super affordable clothing and a lot of fashion bloggers that I follow feature their stuff so I was aware of the site but had never ordered from them before so in addition to this I also picked up four tops because I started looking through the clothes and they were so cute and so affordable that I ended up purchasing some of that as well so I'll show you that next but first I just want to show you the palettes that I got I feel like some of these might be Huda Beauty dupes and also I got these clear and bright liquid blush so very excited to just open this up and check it out these palettes I want to say they were like six dollars so um, the first one is the breeze palette and to me, this kind of reminded me a little bit of Mercury Retrograde. Hang on, let me just go get that really quick and we can do like a little side by side. All right, yeah, so definitely we have the uh, mint green right here, the matte. We have this shade, the turquoise shimmer, which looks really similar. This one looks really similar. This pink is jumping out at me. This one as well. I mean, there's definitely this purple. Um, it looks just like that purple. We have the gold that has kind of like the um, marbled effect and this one did as well. So yeah, I think this is kind of just like a smaller version of Mercury Retrograde. All right, so next up we have the Blossom palette and this one kind of reminded me a lot of the Huda Beauty Rose Gold and also the new Sigma Corda Rosa, which has a very similar color story. So I just wanted to quickly show you these side by side. I think it they look really, really similar. You have the hot pink, you have this one that looks almost the same as well. Um, these golds look a lot alike and some of these matte shades that are down here. All right, so next up we have the Desert Palette, and this one I feel like is a really good dupe for Huda Beauty's Nude Obsessions, the light one. Don't you guys think this looks like almost identical? And it has the same number of shades as well. So I get asked all the time if I could find a dupe for this palette, and now I finally have one at only $6, but I guess we'll just have to see what the formula is like and if it's even worth it. And then the last one is Beach Sunset, and to me this one looks just like Huda's Obsessions, the nude rich one. I mean, look at how close these are. They're pretty much like shade for shade and exact dupe. So um, anyway, I definitely want to do a few swatches of these just to get an idea of what the formula is like, but I plan to do a video on all these palettes coming up really soon for my drugstore month, so I don't want to spend too much time swatching all of them right now because then it'll be redundant when my video comes out. So let's just get a quick feel for what this formula is like. All right, so why don't we swatch the desert one? You know what else this kind of reminds me of as well? It kind of reminds me of the Zoeva Melody palette too. It's kind of a similar color story. All right, so let's try the shimmer shades first. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that one. It's almost got like a duochrome effect. Beautiful. There's a little bit of fallout that I picked up, but not too bad. All right, and then last, let's do the purple one. Oh, the purple one is kind of a little disappointing. I don't know if it's just supposed to be like more of a sheer color, but it's not as intense as the first three for some reason. So anyway, let's check out the mattes. 
These feel incredibly soft picking them up. Wow. I mean, super velvety. Okay, so $6 palette is definitely bringing it. So um, anyway, guys, I will definitely do a video on these later in the week, hopefully, and let you know my thoughts once I've had a chance to try them out on my eyes. All right, so next let's try out these clear and bright liquid blush slash highlight. So I actually didn't see that they said highlight as well. I don't know if they're going to be like uh, super shimmery, but it says this innovative two-in-one product features a gel cream cosmetic formula with nourishing skincare benefits while effortlessly enhancing your complexion. The blendable blush glides on evenly for a luxurious and seamless finish, adding a delicate flush of color and a healthy looking glow. Enriched with vitamin C, the highlight brightens and lifts to ensure a subtle but apparent radiance while smoothing for a softer, more balanced skin tone. So this one is actually called Orgasm. How funny is that? Actually, if you guys wanna check out the ingredient list, I'll put that right here. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this packaging is. This is adorable. So I think it said to shake them up. Yeah, it has like a little, like the little ball in there, like a nail polish has. Oh, the applicator is like one of these types, kind of like, um, what were those Lancome, like lip glosses or something that came out a while ago? That is actually really, really cute. So the color is down in there. All right, let's see what this color looks like. Okay, so these are definitely like a liquid formula. It actually reminds me of the M Cosmetics blushes quite a bit. That's actually really nice. It could be a good affordable alternative. So let me just see quickly how this blends out. They said it was more of a sheer formula. So, I mean, it doesn't lose like a ton of color when you go to blend it. And it feels like it's drying down right away, which is great because it's not going to stay like sticky on your skin. The only thing I will say is there's a little bit of like micro glitter in here. So I guess that's what they mean when they say highlight. Just so we can see the colors full strength, I'll just put this back on my hand here and then we'll do the others. All right, and this next one's called Torrid. And this one looks like a really beautiful like peachy coral shade. That's gorgeous. And then this last shade is Dolce Vita. So this one looks like more of a nude. Yep. They're almost like watercolor. They're just so subtle and pretty. I love it. So I will definitely test these out and hopefully by the end of the video, I can give you guys a little bit of information on what I think of these. But so far I am definitely intrigued by this brand. All right guys, here's the first shirt and this was like $8, so really super affordable. You may have seen this already because I was wearing it today when I filmed my BH Cosmetics video. So if you already saw that video, then you saw this, but I mean, it's cute. It has like a boxier fit, but it's not super boxy. And I actually like that because it doesn't cling to my midsection. And I've definitely gained a few pounds since we've been on quarantine. So for reference, I would say I'm about 140 pounds or so and I'm five foot six. So this is a size medium. Medium, and I think it fits pretty well. I think the large might have been like too boxy So I'm glad that I went with this size and I'm likely gonna be wearing this with shorts anyway So it's not like a super short length But I think it hits like just at a really good point point. and I also love the laser cut detail also, you have it all along the bottom and then also here on the sleeves as well. And another thing I like about this is the material. It's made out of viscose, so it's like really, really lightweight. And I'm somebody who tends to overheat in the summertime, so this is just like the lightest fabric ever. Um, it feels kind of cheap, which, you know, I'm kind of expecting for an $8 shirt, but overall I think it's cute and I really like the color. All right guys, so this next one I'm a little bit disappointed in. It's also a medium, but I feel like it's a little too tight. It's kind of pulling at the shoulders, like I don't have quite enough room. So I probably should have sized up to a large in this one. I may just do that though, because I love this shirt otherwise. I love the flower detail on the sleeves right here. I think it's so cute. And also I just love the color because a lot of times pinks can wash me out, but this one isn't like a super light pink. So I think it's like just a really pretty color. I think it'll go well with white jeans. I have it tucked in because it's a little bit on the shorter side It's not like that boxier fit that the green one has and it's also a little see-through as well And I don't like that you can see my jeans through it. So tucking it in solves that issue, but um, Yeah, I just think this one is a little bit too small 
And then this next one I really like. This is a super cute, it's not really like a tank top. I mean, it kind of is, and then it has the lace right here on the sleeves, which I love. Um, I think for this one, you'd have to wear like a strapless bra, otherwise you are gonna see your bra straps. But I mean, the fabric is super lightweight again, which is gonna be great for summertime. It's a little bit loose. I think I got this in a medium as well. And I have it tucked in, but you can totally like untuck it. And you know, this is the length of it. So it's not a super long shirt, but there's plenty of material to tuck it in if you wanna even just do like a little half tuck. Um, so I think this is adorable. And then this is the last one I got. This is a really, really cute tank top. I think this would look amazing with white shorts or white jeans. And um, this one has a nice heavy fabric. It feels more like a cotton material. It has the buttons, which are super cute. It also has adjustable straps too, so you can decide how low you want this to go. I just adjusted mine up a little so that you know it wasn't too much of a V-neck, but you know it's still not too short either. So I think this is so cute. It came in a bunch of different colors too, so I may get another one because it was so inexpensive. Uh, so yeah, I think I really, really like this one too. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I just got a package from Wishful Skincare, which is Huda's brand, and she included the Thirst Trap Cocoon Mask and also the Chin Lift Sculpting Sheet Mask. So these look really interesting. The Thirst Trap I think would be great for my dry skin. It says it gives instant hydration, softer skin, a dewy glow, and it's soothing, and it has aloe vera, hollyhock rose, caffeine and sodium hyaluronate and then the chin lift i think i'm particularly interested in because it's supposed to give a lifting effect an enhanced jawline a sculpted appearance and hydration as well so it's supposed to work on this section of your face and i've noticed lately that i'm starting to get a little sagging going on like on the side in the jowl area so i definitely want to see if this mask makes a difference so um, inside i'm not going to take them out right now and and use them but uh, if i use them this week i will definitely put it in the video if not if you'd like to see it again another time I can definitely do that but here's the two um, thirst trap masks that she sent over and actually two chin lifts so I'll get to try it more than once which is really fun so um, anyway guys just wanted to show you these really quick I believe they're eight dollars each set it somewhere oh nine dollars each and available at hudabeauty.com so um, anyway guys if you'd like to see more on these definitely let me know down below Hey guys, it's Thursday. I just got my Sephora order in the mail and I wanted to get the Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty. I missed it on launch day. I actually was going to set an alarm for it and then I was like, no, 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 I'm going to remember. And it sold out so fast, so I waited for it to come to Sephora. I just thought it looked so beautiful. And then I also got the new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer and this looks like it's going to be ginormous. So I feel like that justifies the price a little bit more. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and open these up and take a look. All right, so here's a look at the bronzer first, and I got mine in the shade Fair, number one. I really wasn't sure between number one and number two. I didn't want it to be too dark, so I opted for the lighter version. Um, but this on the back says that it's for face and body, so I can definitely see that using this on your body because it's such a large compact, and I just think it's beautiful. And I was also really intrigued because I know a lot of people love her airbrush powder because it's like very seamless, and I have drier skin, so I thought, you know, if it's like a really truly weightless powder that it would warrant the price. So anyway, here's a look at it. It actually looks kind of light. I was hoping it would be maybe just a step darker than it is. So I don't know if this is really going to show up on me as a bronzer. I may have to exchange this and get the darker one. All right, so let me just put some on my arm right here and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's super, super light. Please don't mind this bruise I have right here. Um, it's kind of distracting, but anyway, yeah, I mean, it's not that bronzy, so I don't know. It does feel amazing though. The texture feels really, really smooth and I feel like this is gonna be such a nice powder. So I may just use it, I guess, as like a setting powder or finishing powder, maybe. I mean, it may work once it's on my face, like just to kind of give my skin a little bit of a glow without going overboard, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to play with it and see what happens, but I'm a little bit disappointed in how light it is. And then we have the Moon Prism Blush Palette. This looked so gorgeous. I've never tried anything from Lunar Beauty before, but I've had my eye on their palettes here and there, and I think if I like this, I might definitely try one. Oh my gosh, this packaging is so cool. You have the planets here, they're raised up. I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, this is just like amazing packaging. Very, very nice. And it feels super heavy as well. So let's take a look inside. 
Yeah, these shades are just so gorgeous. I love the really nice mix. These almost are like more bronzy type shades. And then you have kind of some mid-tone blushes and then you have some really light ones. You have, let's see, this one has a shimmer finish. The rest of them look pretty much matte. This one might be like a little more of a satiny type finish. It's not completely flat. I see maybe just like a hint of a glow in that one. So why don't we go ahead and swatch this and see what the colors look like. All right, so here are the first two shades. Here's the light pink. And then this one, which kind of like in a way reminds me of like a NARS orgasm or like Flower Beauty Wild Hibiscus or the Balm's Hot Mama. It's really, really similar. It's that peachy pink with a little bit of gold sheen. And then we have the mid-tone colors. These feel incredibly like blendable, very weightless. Um, I like the texture a lot. All right, and then here's the last two. These are the deeper shades. So that one's like a really pretty berry tone. And then this one is more of like a bronzy shade. So yeah, I think this is so gorgeous. Really, really beautiful. Actually, let me just move this out of the way and that way maybe you could see the swatch is a little bit better. It won't be competing with the background. Um, so, I mean, they feel amazing. Like I said, they swatch really easily. The powders feel super finely milled. The only one that had like a tiny little bit of kick up when I put my finger in it was this shimmery one right here, but the others had like almost no fallout. They were very firmly pressed yet easy to pick up at the same time. So I think this is so pretty. I'm really, really excited to use it. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I was actually just putting the video together, but these came in the mail, so I wanted to include them in the video. These are the new Maybelline Lifter Lip Glosses with Hyaluronic Acid, and I saw these on Amazon. They're part of Maybelline's new summer collection. They also had like these liquid eyeshadow pens, but they had terrible reviews, so these actually sounded amazing. They're supposed to plump up your lips and smooth your lips with the hyaluronic acids, so they're not supposed to give you like that burning, tingling sensation. They're actually supposed to like just hydrate the heck out of your lips, so that they look plumper. So that sounds right up my alley. I'm always looking for things that'll smooth out my lips. So I got four different shades to try and I figured I'd just swatch them for you really quick. I also love this packaging. I feel like it's very luxurious in a way. It kind of reminds me of like KKW. It's very heavy and like the plastic is very thick and solid. So I'm impressed with the packaging so far. There's a look at the uh, applicator and then this is the shade Silk. So I mean, it seems like it's fairly pigmented for a gloss anyway. That's a really pretty color. And then this is the shade Moon, number three. So this one's a little bit more on the sheer side. It also has a slight amount of sparkle to it. Then this one is shade number five, Petal. That one is very pigmented. These almost seem like they have like a gel type formula. They seem like they're gonna be really, really nice. Uh oh, and then this one is actually silk too. So I guess I only have three shades. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, um, it's Saturday morning, so I'm gonna film my intro and then the end of the video a little bit later. So I'll try these out today and kind of let you know my initial impressions at the end of the video. All right, guys, so I have a little bit of feedback on some of the products that I tried out. The first one is this Desert Glam palette. This is the one that looks like the Huda Light Obsessions. I'm actually wearing this one on my eyes today, and I thought it performed beautifully. I wore this shade right here in my crease, and then I put uh, this one, which had the duochrome, all over my lid, and it is so beautiful. And I felt like the shadows applied and blended really easily, and they're very nicely pigmented, so no issues so far, um, but I will keep trying the other palettes and hopefully have a video up for you guys this week. I'm also wearing one of the She Glam blushes today. This is the shade Orgasm, and I felt like, again, it was very easy to apply. Um, it does dry really fast though so I did one cheek at a time I just dotted a couple dots and then patted it in really quickly but just fair warning you have to blend these immediately or they're just kind of gonna set right there so um, so far I really like it I feel like it's lasted a long time it's lasted the majority of the day already it still looks pretty good and it's about like 5 p.m. now so anyway really like these so far oh and also the glitter that's in these it did show up on my cheeks but I found that as I was blending these in I was kind of brushing the glitter away so I don't feel like my cheeks look glittery at all so I don't know I feel like that's not really a big deal and then on my lips I'm wearing one of the lip lifter glosses from Maybelline this is the shade 4 and it's called Silk 
I love these so much. First of all, they smell amazing. They have like a really nice vanilla scent and they don't sting or tingle or burn or anything. They just feel really, really silky on my lips. Like I keep rubbing them together because it just feels so nice and really moisturizing and hydrating. And I feel like they just smooth out all of those lip lines. So this is definitely my favorite Maybelline product in a really long time. I think they're just fantastic. Also, I did try out the Moon Prism palette earlier in the week and I'm very impressed with the formula and how they wore. So I'm excited to try some more from this brand I'm just impressed with everything from the packaging to the shade selection to the formula I think it's just beautifully done um, and then also the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer surprisingly this does show up as a bronzer on my face I wasn't expecting it to because in a swatch it looked really really pale but once I actually put it on with a brush I could definitely see it warming up my face nicely so I do think it'll definitely work for me as a light bronzer I have tons of other bronzers if I want something deeper so I actually like that I have this slightly lighter option if it didn't show up at all I feel like I would definitely return it but because it does and it does warm up my face I think I'll actually hang on to it and I really like the formula too it looks completely seamless on my face and it doesn't look like there's powder sitting on there even though I have really dry skin so very impressed with this as well so anyway guys that's everything I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below on any of the products I talked about today whether you've tried them or you just have comments or questions in general thank you all so much for watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video take care guys bye